I'm Val Jeffrey for CMAP. I'm at the Garlic Festival in Gilroy 2011. I'm at the Garlic Ice Cream booth and they're going to be setting up in just a moment. So come on in with me and you'll see how it's put together. Um, what I'm doing is that I have to lube the machine and it's a vegetable lube and you miss the parts inside because we have to get going here. And uh, we do this every morning because the machine gets taken apart every night and it gets taken home and it gets sanitized. You guys are, are seeing what is actually the pre-set for the day. The machine hasn't been turned on yet. It's just been cleaned. It, like I said, it's lubed and ready to go. I'll give us a few more minutes and we're going to fill her up so you can see how it looks. Thank you. Do you mix the ice cream here or do you bring the ice cream with you? No. Um, we have the cartons here. We do the mixture here because we this is when we're going to combine the garlic with the ice cream and there's a process formulation of how we do it. Are you going to share your secret recipe with me? I sure will. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the mix for the day and this is going to start it off. They just opened our gates and we're behind a little bit so I got to rush. It's three half gallons to three quarters of a cup of granulated domestic garlic. And the garlic, the granulated garlic, does that come from Gilroy Foods? Yes, it sure does. That's, uh, that's the secret ingredient. If you don't get it from Gilroy Foods, then it's not an authentic garlic festival ice cream cone. And actually, um, I'm going to be doing whisking this now. The reason why I'm whisking it is because I have to make sure I don't get any lumps in it. So if somebody doesn't get a cone that has a chunk of garlic in it. Although some people might like it that way. But I'm going to tell you something. If this is the first thing you're going to taste at the festival today, you're really going to taste the garlic in it. But if you've been eating here, um, the ice cream will, with the garlic will feel real refreshing on your tongue. So this is the start. Walking around, I saw another booth that said they've got the original garlic ice cream. Is that correct? Well, it might be original to them, but it's not original to the Garlic Festival because we are the original. Well, they charge and you're free. I'm free. You don't want to dirty yours? Anyway, um, I'm going to add one more half gallons because it's nine half gallons to three quarters of a cup of, uh, of the granulated garlic. And the reason why it's that is because it is so potent that that's all you need. Okay, I'm going to pour. Okay, here we go. We're filling up the machine, which has been thoroughly clean, and all of the volunteers are thoroughly clean, right? Yes. <laughs> You've given them the instructions on what they can touch and what they can't touch. How long will this take to freeze, Ricky? This will take, uh, let me just pour this in. i got to pour half of it in. Okay, Anthony, take that. And please wipe the end on there. Okay. And I need two more empty ones. Um, this will take about 15 minutes, a good 15 minutes to freeze up. And it's going to, we'll be doing this all day long. And we layer it so it stays uniform. So it's, that's one of the most important things for me is that I layer it so the people don't get a, you know, bad uh, cone. You always serve it in cones. Yes, we do. We serve it in little cones. Only one time we ran out of cones and we had to serve them in little cups or people were bringing their cups and we were filling them up, the mix. And um, other than that, we've been, it's been cones ever since the beginning. Okay, it'll take about 15 minutes and uh, we will be in business. They're really, really busy right now. The line's getting longer and longer and longer. Uh, and guess who I found? Don Christopher. Hi, Don. Well, hi. How's it going? I'm from CMAP. Yes, I and, know. And um, I understand that you start every garlic festival in line for the garlic ice cream. Is that, that is correct? correct. My wife and I both do this, and we love it. We really do like garlic ice cream. Isn't that amazing? Um, I think you probably try quite a bit in your time. Yeah, quite a little bit. We. I want to know how I buy a good garlic when I go into the store. Uh, basically it's all late garlic and that's that's some of the best and it's white and it's hard and it's not bruised. Well we really appreciate you, everything you do for the Garlic Festival. We appreciate um, Christopher High School 
Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really love that high school. That it's done so well, and it's it's the most beautiful high school around. And all the kids are excited, and they'll have all four classes this year. This will be the first year with all four classes, and they'll have a graduating class. Isn't that amazing? And um, it's all because of garlic. Yeah, no, it's not all because of garlic, but we'll call it garlic, huh? Don doesn't just come on his own. He brings his family. So let's meet some of them. And what's your name? Blake. And do you like garlic ice cream? Yes. Do you wish it came in other flavors? Not really. No? Vanilla's really good. And what's your name? Eden. And how many times do you come to the garlic festival? A lot. No, I don't expect so. I've come quite a few times as well. This is so much fun here. Yeah. Well, I don't want to keep you from the front of the line here. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you for talking to me. This is fun. I like this. And we're waiting for our ice cream, and I guess it's coming pretty soon. It is. <laughs> I'm Val Jeffrey. You can go back now to the CMAT booth, and we are covering the Gilroy Garlic Festival 2011.